Jack, this is their very first attempt. I know JFig was very discouraged because they put about how many hours into this? 20 to 30 hours. Okay, 20 to 30 hours. So, what I think we should do is unplug it now and take everything apart. Take the soil that's right there, berm it up, carve into the soil, yep. put the rocks in, foam it up, and how long do you think we could take to do it? An hour or two. Oh my God. <laughs> build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. All right, where's Jack? So Jack, you know what we're doing? Oh, I don't know if I should be scared or excited. You're working with the boss. You should be excited. <laughs> I don't know. All right, buddy. Well, I'll tell you in a second, but do we have mulch? Yeah, right there. I got some more I got some more buckets that we can load up and that'll oh. be good to go. All right, let's go. So you're curious, huh, Jack? Yeah. Okay. How old were you when you built your first water feature? I think it was 15 or 16 when I built my first water feature. Okay, and now you're the whopping age of 19 or are you 20? 20. So five yeah. years ago, you built your first water feature. Yeah. Well, you are gonna go teach a family how to properly build a pondless waterfall today. Okay. Because they built one. So we all know that you gotta learn a little bit, right? How many times you built your first water feature? How many times have you rebuilt it? Three. Okay, so you're gonna go re rebuild theirs for the first time, but I want you to really educate them because they're, I think the guy's 22. I think Luke is 20 and JFig is like 16, okay. 17 years old, and they built it. It took them like 20 to 30 hours. Yeah. And so I said to them, we're gonna rip it out, and they were all depressed. And I'm like, no, no, we're gonna help you teach it. Well, I'll ask you how long you think. I have an idea how long it's gonna take in my mind, but I want you to kind of like explain to them what you would have done differently as a seasoned pro now. Okay. All right. Okay, here we are. There they are. Look, he's already back there working. Yep. I hope they haven't ripped it apart yet. <laughs> Is it running? It's still running, right? All right, let's check it out. <laughs> All right, boys. So I, I brought the expert. Okay, so Jack, this is their very first attempt. Now Jack built his first pond five years ago. And he's already rebuilt it three times? Yeah. Okay, so this is very normal. I know JFig was very discouraged because they put about how many hours into this? 20 to 30 hours. Okay, 20 to 30 hours. So Jack, I gave him some feedback, but what would your, you, you do some coaching here. I probably like, I know I, we've talked about it before, just the height. Here we go over here. So like, yeah. Is it too high or not? It's still a little high. <laughs> yeah, probably the height. Like usually, I mean, it's just because of the berm and stuff like that. You want to flare it out as far as possible. Okay. So we need to flatten that out. Yeah, I would lower the spillway. To, I, if you guys were doing it again, we we know yeah. we are doing it again. Okay, <laughs> so lower the spillway. Obviously, you guys talked about that already. But yeah, that makes like your liners all the way up higher above the spillway, so the water doesn't drip out. We went and got more topsoil because we didn't have enough the first time. Yeah, yeah. So you guys could do a retaining wall on this side and then just flare it out as far as you guys want on that side. Wow, that's a great idea. I didn't even think of that. So, what I think we should do is unplug it now and take everything apart. Take the soil that's right there, berm it up, carve into the soil, yep. put the rocks in, foam it up, and how long do you think we could take to do it? An hour or two. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have 30 gray hairs just from this project. I can't believe it. Just tell us what to do. We're here yeah. for it. So you're most shocked is how quick it will go or what? I'm shocked how quick it'll go. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> so Gary owned his own automobile shop and I bought a Porsche 928. Pretty cool a beater Porsche 928 with my buddy when I was in high school and I thought, let's pull the engines, let's fix this thing up and let's just put it this way. When we started it up, it ran worse than when we got it and we lost money on the deal. And when we sold it, our dads made us have them people sign saying this was worked on by non-mechanics. <laughs> so you pulling an engine, I'm sure you've done it more than once, hundreds of times. We've done this thousands of times and we're gonna do this in the next two hours. Okay, buddy? All right, and you guys right now are the muscle, so rip it out. Put everything along the side. So, Denise, how many videos did you watch on this? Because you would watch like two videos before or something or what? Well, I watched the two that were for, that were done by Aquascape and then I watched the several that you sent us. Right, and, and when you were watching the videos that I sent you, what was the, some of the epiphanies or, or were there any? There about, was, there like, was. The fact that now we're supposed to like dig the rocks in so they look more natural. Yep. So like they're sunken into the ground and they were eroded away was huge for me. Okay. Um, that it looks like Mount Vesuvius, like volcano, that was pretty eye-opening too. Because you even wanted it another foot higher than, than I that. I because I want that 
last. Right, but you don't want to look at make it look like a volcano spewing right. lava. The biggest mistake when people build waterfalls is to make them high and it looks like a volcano spewing lava. And even this one's high and it's still about half the height that when you had it when I first came. Oh, it was so much higher. Yeah, so it's 3.35. We've been doing this for not even 10 minutes. This is nine minutes in and in another five minutes we'll have the liner out and then we will put the dirt in and start tamping it down. A little quicker to take it apart, huh, Luke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that mound right there is still too high? It's not too high if we dig into it. You have pavers under there? Uh, I think it's yeah. just more cinder blocks. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Just pull those out. We don't need the pavers under there. I think what we should do is just kind of reverse this. The basin's already set, but we need more soil in here, wouldn't you say? So we'll get some of this soil. We'll throw it over there. Because we want to have it about that height, I would just take those cinder blocks out. And then we should just put the dirt in here, tamp it down, and then put the rocks in. So one of the challenges was, Gary, you actually hooked this up before you would put all the rocks in, right? So you couldn't Correct. really, yeah, where we like to hook it up last so that we could well, pull might, the liner back. It was set up as a volcano. Yeah. It was our last step, but sure. we had it too high, so it was all together and we had to lower it, so it was all glued together when we... Sure. Have it a little bit more facing towards the house now, right? Are you excited? Yeah. So, so right here we got plenty of pipe, right? So we'll just take this down about, I'd say halfway. We probably can move the spillway up a little bit because with the liner, we have to don't forget that liner. See, this is why we brought the experienced kid here. Go get that liner. We'll lay it out. go that's where we're going turn it a little bit more towards the house so look at how high that is versus yours Big difference. even though I kept saying don't make it too high don't make it too high don't make it too high and now we're gonna see how natural this looks when Jack and I get done what time is it we started at 325 355. 355 so it's been 30 minutes exactly okay mark that we'll start there we can pull the liner out guys pull the liner out Jack will mark that and we're gonna start digging Denise, I want people to learn, so what did you do wrong? So what happened was we made the liner incorrectly. I was more worried about the liner being over here onto the basin. So when I had the water run, it was only here, so it kept spilling over there and making yes. it very tight. Yes, it was too open. tight. It yeah. was too tight. So I needed to make sure it went that way further, and yeah. I made that mistake by that's, not. That's why I pulled that liner up farther, and just it gave us some more playroom back here. Yep, are okay. you excited? Yeah, and it's not gonna be a ton of mud everywhere. <laughs> Where's your spray paint? We'll just spray paint this out. They don't show that in the I didn't see that part. I just laid it So you, you're gonna blame our videos, huh? No, no, it Sounds like it. No, I'm blaming Ed. That's our blame Ed. No. Not Brian. Brian, Brian, let's blame Brian. Yes, Brian. Brian, Brian no, did. you didn't care. Okay, we're about 45, 50 minutes in. We're putting the liner back. The ground's been excavated. We used the little scrap pieces of underlayment that we had, all this nice topsoil. And uh, now we're gonna put the spillway in up at the top and then uh, start putting in the boulders. So you see our two big frame rocks that we have there. And then the way these rocks go, we're gonna fill this in with foam and gravel and underlayment probably in there. And then the water's gonna come right over here, coming down, and that's your main waterfall. You see how different it is than the tall one? But least amount of rocks you can use, the better. And it's just gonna be really a nice stream, and we're just gonna dig some rocks into here right now. Let's get a big boulder and put it right in the middle, Jack. You pick it, I'll let you do this. I like right here, and just so it'll just give some character into it. Here okay, here. keep working. So just so, so you know, just so you got, yes, just so you guys know, we are 55 minutes in with this. Remember what Jack said, two hours? Yeah. That's We've done it a few times rock. before. That rock will be perfect right in the middle of the stream, right Jack? Is that what you want? No, no, it's up yeah, straight, straight down. Yeah, straight down. So I could see it from the window. See, that's beautiful. That looks so beautiful. And we're going to dig it in a little bit, right Jack? Yeah. So he's going to mark it out. It's already a flat rock, but man, if that rock was three inches deeper, it'd be nice. And then that's how you get to your backyard too. That'll be your step across. So what's the biggest difference so far from what we're doing than what you guys did? Okay, I hate to say this because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and I know that we're past that. 
It looks like natural. <laughs> it looks yeah, like that's one way of saying it. It looks like natural, not it's like a drunk four year old did it. It, it literally looks like, like I would say from the videos we watched, like digging out portion really didn't come across. Yeah, yeah. that's something that we've so learned this, big we, time. We had today. no idea to do this portion of the digging bounce. Okay. Right. That was going to take out this This is amazing though. I mean, exactly what I ran into when I did mine. Okay, what happened when you did? With mine, it's the same thing. Like when I built my pond, I built my water, like the pond turned out fine. It was just the waterfall. It was like the volcano look, and then it was literally a straight stream, and it was like rocks were holding up the liner on the side, just like you guys. <laughs> That's exactly what we did. And we were like, just it's, preventing it's leaks just the at one point. It's having it tall grade down to it, and then you dig out to where you need to place your rocks. So you gotta create what nature creates over time. You have to create your slope, and then dig to place your rocks in. Okay. We're almost one hour in, so let's dig that in, buddy. Okay, they are Italian. And now that we've got a little depressed area in there, it'll fit just fine for putting in that rock, which will even be more below the surface, which is what I want, the water to go around it. Okay, put that rock back, Jack. We'll see how that looks, and then we're gonna be gravel all around that. Nice. A little bit more to your left. And then I wanna twist, hey, look at me. Twist it this way. The back end is high, yep, there you go. Again, he's coming in and carving out the edge for the rock that he just found. Your neighbors have a water feature. Did you do? Why don't you show me your neighbor's water feature? That's up to you. Come on, let's see it. I can't. I okay. love our neighbors. Our mosquito breeding ground. Mosquito breeding ground, okay. I'm like, what do they have in their yard? And it's a little, come on. Solar powered, and there are a lot of mosquitoes. And there's a lot of mosquito larvae and frogs in here. You can see the mosquito larvae. So, this is one of the misperceptions about a pond is it breeds mosquitoes. A stagnant body of water will have way more mosquitoes than a moving, circulating water. Hour and 15 minutes in. Okay, the wine has arrived. Not ready for that yet. Maybe you are. We're now putting in the spillway. We've got our beautiful frame rocks in there. One, two, three for the spillways. Denise is getting the muddy gravel down. And yeah, we're an hour and 10, 15 minutes in. All right, so Jack, what are you doing? Show us. Right now, I'm cutting the hole out so when we can put the liner up against the spillway and then we can attach the collar and the nut. The yard. And that's pretty much what you did, yes? Yes. Okay. That part we got right. <laughs> Good job. Cutting a little piece of underlayment. So we're gonna foam, put the underlayment into the foam, right Jack, and then foam on top again. Yeah. And what we're doing over here, that's good, that's good. Just stick it in there and hold it for about 30 seconds. Okay, so let's see this. So this is a little advanced technique. So we're gonna foam here, then we're gonna put the underlayment down, then we're gonna foam again so that the water goes over the rock instead of through the cracks because the foam will help with the adherence of it. Now you guys have never foamed, right? Okay, jump in there, Luke. Ooh, that sounds like a fun job. Mom, you wanna do it? No, no, I'll let the boys have the fun. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much all I'm gonna do all your hands. And there's my son sitting. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is, because the foam will go into the underlayment and it will make it that much less porous. And this is only about a 90% seal. Mm -hmm. And that's fine because even if 10% of the water goes around, you get 90% going over that lip is good. Jack, what 
you doing? So right now we're trying to disguise the liner. And so what I'm gonna do is with us, we always take the edge of the liner and we leave maybe like six inches of extra liner in case it less settles or anything like that. Then at least we come back and pull it up. Yep. But we always fold it to the outside just like this. And then I'll take it just like this and we try to get it. Like with this edge, we can't get it all the way butt into this corner. So I'll take some gravel and kind of put yep. it up into this area. But I'll try to get it as close as I can. And then get dirt in there. And then pull dirt all into here. Yep, and then we'll fill that with gravel. All right, time for the plants. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Little hydrangea, so my favorite. We're gonna get we're gonna get landscape today too. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. You like it? Oh my word. That's gorgeous. Jeez. Figure out where I'm gonna put all these things. Wow. Wow. With all my landscaping is I have one little fern behind you. That's all I have. So a lot less rocks than you thought, right? I think 12 to 15 rocks is typical. So all these are extra rocks and pieces of flagstone. Denise, what do you think about your plants we got? Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. All right, so let's start laying them out. Laying them out? Yes, so we got three grasses. Now the reason that we're putting these grasses in the back here, Denise, because we want a backdrop to keep your eyes focused on the waterfall. All right, so Jackie just pulled the gravel that we kind of pulled away, just so you can, now you're gonna overlap the liner. And as long as the liner is the lowest point right here, the water will flow and higher on the edges, it'll flow into the basin. Right. Now he's just gonna cover that with gravel right there. What time is it, guys? Let's see. Five ten. So in twenty minutes we'll be at Jack's two hours, and we're already doing the landscaping. So that's pretty good. Come on, twenty minutes we want this waterfall flowing. Okay, so we are an hour and fifty minutes in. Jack is just finishing the edge, so I'm washing out still muddy gravel, and uh, it's going to flow right in there. Then we'll pump it out, and uh, we will have this thing running in a, right around two hours. Isn't that what you said, Jack? When we started, two hours. Yep. Okay. All right. We got the upgraded LED three light, three watt kit. I think it would, you know what would be good is to put one up here, illuminating behind, one in the front, and then one down there. So one in the water, two outside the water. Okay. Five thirty, two hours and five minutes, Jack. We're just doing the tweaking, and there's the waterfall. Listen to that sound. Hey. That looks like a good seal there, buddy. Good yeah. job on the foam. Nice job. So now we just got to finish up this little edge here, finish up the landscaping, put the mulch down. And what do you think? Does it look natural? It looks way better. You think mom's going to be happy when she oh, comes yeah. out here? 100%. And there's the water going in. Good job. All right, let's finish it out. <laughs> So Jack, you were slightly off. It was two hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, now we gotta see how Mama Bear likes it. But I think it's really good. We're just gonna drain this water one last time and get cleaner water in there. And we're gonna finish the landscaping around it. But good work, my man. Thanks. Okay, hey, not bad for a 20 year old, huh? <laughs> good work. Thanks. <laughs> okay, the moment of truth has arrived. Jake, stand right behind the waterfall. Luke, Gary, you guys helped build it. Ryan, get out of the way. You didn't come help. Blake, certainly no. Okay. Oh, you got your eyes closed? Yeah, here you go. Here you go. Okay, bring her over here. Bring her right to that edge there, hon. Don't look. Are you ready? I am. Okay, now ahead. Go ahead. Okay, look. Oh my god. It's beautiful. Look at oh the, my gosh! Look at the little <gasps> ground covering. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh! It's real, boys. Yay! Good job, man. Woo, okay. Real, man. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's yeah, real. Guys, guys. It looks great. Oh my gosh. This looks so good. Dude. Some people want Ed McMahon at their house. I'll take the pound guy. Oh. <laughs> wow. You like that sound? Gorgeous. It's absolutely so much different than we did. <laughs> That's so okay. much better. And see it's serpentine. Oh my goodness. And you see the lights. So we got a light up here with uh, grasses and your hydrangea. And we got a light down here for that beautiful log that we brought in. And you got this log you brought. You got that in Wisconsin. You pulled that out of the lake for me in Wisconsin and Hayward. You did. Yeah. 
You really did. But that hides the spillway right there. This ground cover, I think, is perfect for the edging here. I've never seen anything like that. It's gorgeous. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I love my job. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat! Woohoo! And there's the sound. And here is our reward. I negotiated your mom cooking us dinner for exchange for fixing the waterfalls. Mm -hmm. Not a bad deal. Oh, when he was like, he was like tearing up like he was going to cry. We worked 25 hours on this. And the fact that we failed, I'm like, mm -hmm. Greg worked seven years on his. Exactly. With nothing, no guidance, you know? Something. So what was the biggest difference with how we worked versus... Oh, you worked as a family? Yeah. Well, Tell I us about the fight. because we were... <laughs> <laughs> we went, we did, I think it's because we were all so, we didn't want to disappoint you first of all. So I think that was kind of all heavy on our hearts. Like, okay, we got to do a good job. But it, it, it was probably a lot of stress. I think we had room. a bunch of headstrong people. I want it this way, I want it this way, but this is what we got to do. And nobody would find the one true leader of the group. Right, so there, there was a lot of chiefs and no Indians. <laughs> So was it a team building I'm experience the for the Fagurski family? Oh. No, no. Was it a, if, we have enough, if we have another other. one, we'll kill each other again. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing learned here. So once a year fight. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it again. So we'll listen. Knock down, drag out. <laughs> I always say if you want to save money, hire a professional. If you want to have fun, if you want to be in the hobby, then do it yourself and be prepared to redo it. Most water features that people build are not going to look good the first time, maybe even the second time or the third time. I built my pond seven times before I got it looking pretty good. So the goal of Aquascape is to teach people how to be successful in business if they're contractors and if they're hobbyists, how to enjoy living the Aquascape lifestyle. This was a total blast for me. We did it in two and a half hours. Hours. and uh, now my buddies and my friends are gonna be living the aquascape lifestyle and uh, if you are interested in living the aquascape lifestyle check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor by you I love my job